Uh, hey everybody. Happy uh, National Margarita Day. We are Fruitful Diversions here to uh, run around through the DLC of Bloodborne. Uh, last time we had gotten almost to the end but decided to take care of a few things along the way. And uh, I'm doing something a little unorthodox right now, which is using Matt's weapon simply because the one I had equipped is not leveled in any fashion. And uh, he may have forgot he forgot to mention that he's here with his friends Matt and Matt. Yes, I forget <laughs> that. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Matt. The Matts are here. And I'm the other Matt. Uh, the, the, you, were, you were just hearing Greg. Uh, he's got a wonderful voice. Uh, Thank you. Very jealous of his voice. Thank but you. I bet, um, Great body, it's too. It's probably difficult for a listener to distinguish between us, I would think. Between me and you? Yeah, I think we have similar sort of rich white tenor mm -hmm. kind of voice. You mean like no. racially mm -hmm. white? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I do know that there are people who describe sounds in color. Oh, and these, the, do they have this? What's uh, it called? Yeah. Synesthesia. Yeah, yeah synesthesia. They have synesthesia. But I feel like we all have a sense of the color of a sound. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I... Uh, hmm. <laughs> you mean because of the the <laughs> emotion, <laughs> the emotions that the sound evokes? Yeah, the yeah. quality. So you, I mean, I would have no problem assigning a color to anything that you said. Give that a color. Uh, right. But I, I don't. Poop. Also, I'm not. Well, Poop, and you can't say brown. Orange. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, uh, loneliness. Uh, turquoise. That's a Turquoise to me is I not. Say, I just say well, that's not your color. I just <laughs> say pale, pale green, like mm. really pale. Mm. I like that. I like that. It's it's easy it, to me. I I, I want to go darker with negative emotions, like a darker, sure, like a gray or a. But I see where you guys are going. So, mm -hmm. uh, one <laughs> on thing that note. I think just to be aware of on National Margarita Day, uh, don't chew your ice into the mic, like. Um, I keep wanting to do. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I have this great crushed ice uh, margarita, and I just want to crunch on it. I mean, go if you want to crunch on it, let's just prearrange it, mm -hmm. and then warn everyone, and then just do it in one, you know, swift, one just get swift it out. go. Yeah. Like with the chips on the last. Yeah, recording. exactly. So let's mm. we'll arrange it, and then we'll do it. You know, I'm we'll not. I'm not going to say no to anything. We'll all do it together. We could do it together. Yeah, yeah. We'll crunch our eyes together. <laughs> That'll be really nice for you know everybody. You know how in uh, like an improv you're supposed to always say yes to everything, right? Yeah. Is there, like do you think, for? coming Sorry, that'd, that'd uh, a counter school which is like say no to everything? Everyone <laughs> say no all the time. <laughs> and maybe that would produce something interesting. It's conceivable. It's difficult with improv because you always kind of want it to be no, additive not. because... No. No, you don't. You actually I you want to break it down. You no. want to break it down. I see what you're doing. So you're just manufacturing <laughs> constant <laughs> contrarian constant conflict. conflict yeah. Con con constant conflict. Conflict. <laughs> so, uh, I have got my big hammer out, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna just. Should I just continue, kind of just? Can I just get a quick look at Caramel Corn's face, just sure. so I remember who we're. Oh, <laughs> yeah. this little hat. Oh. Yeah, she looks great. <laughs> oh, she looks real good. Uh, there's so much going on in her face. There's you so know much I mean? sadness. Yeah. And in terms of just a video game, I feel. Uh oh. I feel what like ah, it's my cat's clawing me too at the same time. Everything Boy, happened at the same time. You got a lot happening. <laughs> this is what happens when you sit still in the world of Bloodborne. No. <laughs> cats in the real world claw your feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This, like guy's a, playing this guy's again. a dick and Keep a half. Playing again. This guy's a real moron. Wow, he chumped you. Did he? Oh, yeah. no! Yeah, he did! Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> but he most of the time, he's just standing there. So, who's the chump? The chump or the chumper? You know? The chump. Which one are you? I guess you? this is the chump. Yeah, you're right. You just that's the wrong one. Yeah. I'm used to Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, we were playing Dark Souls all weekend, and uh, that's why I tried to use a bold hunter mark earlier, uh, which was a bit unfortunate, because what I wanted to do was heal... Fine. You know how it what is. you couldn't heal? What's that? You can't heal. It's a different button. Yeah. Oh. Before okay. and in Dark, Dark Souls, Souls yeah. it's uh it's considered an item, whereas this it just has its own <laughs> dedicated button. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a bit confusing. These fools. Good thing I have this electricity all over my hammer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's continue. Uh huh. 
Oh, hello. This guy's a real uh, munch, real butt munch. You know? Butt munch. That's <laughs> a term I have <laughs> not heard in a very long amount it's of classic. time. It's classic. Also, what is it that we are trying to do? You tell me. Oh, no. <laughs> we keep not pressing forward. We keep going back into this open area. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm wondering if we should... Christ in heaven! I thought there was a plan last time. Um, I like to forget the plan somebody? in between every session. Okay. Uh, part of it, it's, I mean, the part of it harkens to improv, oh, you know shit. what I mean? Yeah. This is the guy that killed you, isn't it? Yeah, gonna kill one me. of the gentlemen. And he killed There's you. Several. He killed you. Saul, you need to really, you're freaking me out. you got to go do something, because you're going to chew on one of these wires, cords. Uh. uh <laughs> no, you can't do that. He wants that. up to where the, the wires <laughs> are. They look um, so tasty and thin. I just thought I could chew on some of these wires. I, I thought I could. Put I'm, just, these in I'm my hungry, mouth. and I just want to chew on something until meal time. Who gave Saul a microphone? Oh, he's, uh, he's got he's just he can do that. No, I got my own microphone. <laughs> yeah, he's got his own little cat mic. Uh, his whiskers act as a little trans cat mic transmitter. Tran trans transmitter. <laughs> are you trying to make like a cat pun there? Like no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was trying to say transceiver, and I and then I switched oh. the words in the middle of the transmitter. Uh, so w should I continue what I was doing, or should we like stop and doing? discuss this? Uh, keep going. Okay. I mean, press forward. Let's press forward. Always. Uh, the question is, I don't know if there's treasures back there that we want, or if we just need to, you know, shove on. I thought we were shoving on. Like, what? What is? If this not, if this isn't the way to shove on, what is the uh, way to, shove to on? instead of going down the stairs, go up the stairs? I, I am going up the stairs. Other stairs. Oh, there's more stairs. The okay. stairs on which we keep dying. <laughs> okay. He's dead and dead. Okay, a couple of bullet holes. Uh, and this is this is uh, earlier talking about improv in the uh -huh. SN. Uh -huh. I feel like one of the trends we're also seeing is. Uh, and I feel like it comes directly from improv schools is the idea of like not necessarily calling out people, mm. but like sticking it to people. How do you mean? When someone gets like absurd, like if someone does something weird, they'd be like, why are you doing that? Well, that's that's ah. and they'd be like, well, no, I just thought they'd be like, but that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. But that's I the same thing as saying no, it's bad to negate. It's negating. Right. right? That's, well, that's one of the things we were. Because I did some improv classes, one of the things they tell you is like, be honest. Like, if someone's doing something wrong, tell them they're doing it wrong. But it also feels like then it starts to restrict the concept of being allowed to be a little goofy. Of what's possible, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you're if you're goofy, you're creating like a goofy world, right? And then you people have to. I mean, you have to. What's always just interesting that, right? is that they seem to oh God. not what's want happening? that to ever occur. Which yeah, which means right. you want it to occur yeah. some of the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. If it works. And it feels like I'm seeing it a lot more now in the uh, in some of the shows that are like well, TV shows. Is that yeah, what TV shows like Broad I don't know City. What I'm sometimes doing. I really we'll do don't know what I'm doing. Time to time, time. Uh, like, oh yeah, I, I, you're talking about like quirk humor or something like yeah. New Girl or something, or mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. even. I mean, I think the thing about know. improv rules to me, I, I just I, I don't know very. L I just did a little in college, but you did a lot more. Uh, but like, what bothers me is it's always like here are the rules to improv. Uh, you you should play here are the rules to improv, but. But you can break them if it's funny. Like, it's fine to break the right. rules as long as you succeed at what you're doing. Like, right. So it's like, it's just, they're like guidelines. Like, if you, you know, like, it's just of like, course. you go down that path. But um, it's fine to break away from the path if it if it works. Mm-hmm. And I know that there are some, uh, like, I was known to ask questions but give information. Like, uh, say something like. In a scene or in? Yeah, in a scene. Like, coming in and saying, like, honey, what would you say if I got a shrunken head? for the den. Oh, so you pick like a goofy premise. Right, and then people are like, you can't ask questions. It's like, well, that was a question, but it was also but it was proposed providing kind of a, information. Providing a context. Which right? is yeah. not, yeah. the idea of not asking questions is saying like, you tell me what's going on in the scene because I can't think of a thing. Yeah, but you're not, you're not passing the buck. Like, right. It's not, it's like, I think they're saying don't pass the buck, but in that case, you weren't passing right. the buck. You were, cre you were coming up with an idea. But that's one of the ways, I think, in which when they're like, you can break the rules, it's like, that's kind of breaking the rule, because it is asking a question. But it's like, you have to understand what questions work and what questions don't. Yeah. What if we did get a shrunken head in the den? <coughs> I've been you mean trying like a voodoo to figure style? out maybe how to get a shrunken head. Like a voodoo head, or like a just a... <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a, like the kinds that are in those freak museums? Right, right. I mean, I'd want it to be real. A real head that's yeah, that has been... How mean, do you shrink... How do they do that? 
Is that uh, a chemical combination? process? No, it's more herbal, I believe. But it's herbal. It also has a lot to do with <laughs> it's just the sun. It's a lot of sun. time. You put a head, a head inside some time mm -hmm. for four years. I think the people who were shrinking heads were not really having access to a lot of chemicals necessarily, at least not in powdered forms. So they came up with herbal solutions to shrink heads. Like salt and things like that. You know what I'm talking about. I hear you. Oh, fuck. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, this oh, these guys are God. always a pain in the ass. I am not too handy oh. at this. You gotta get around him. Well, he got me. He got you. He got me. He got you. He got me bad. Now we're back into our mode of like not really making progress. Yeah, yeah. That's the way I like it. The last two sessions... We've been making a lot of progress, and some would say too much progress. So now some we're some would slow. say that you hacked the game, which is why the video looks so bad on the last. That wouldn't uh, really make sense, and I don't appreciate you trying to stir the pot <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that. Hey, I'm not stirring the pot. <laughs> stirring just, the pot. You know, like stirring people the pot. have said. Mm -hmm. Some people are saying. Some people are saying that's the that, word that on the streets. That you guys hacked, hacked wow. the, the the thing. Let them say that to our face. Yeah. Let them say well, that to our won't. face. they won't. You know they won't. Yeah, yeah. That's why they're, they're them. They're too lily yeah. livered. Yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> lily livered. They have it's lilies odd, for the li it's their an livers. Odd phrase. Yeah. <laughs> Is your liver made of lilies? <laughs> Can't drink or whatever. It's just some flowers instead of where an organ should be. Yes, 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 yes. That's one dead dude. Boom. I should have healed before I did that. No. These three boys here. <laughs> That's a lily livered's like a wild west. Yeah. <coughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I always thought it was like pirates or. No. Oh yeah. Um, Arr, yeah. Ye lily livered. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, you yeah, go either yeah, way. Lily livered, whatever. Yeah. It seemed like simi er, similar environments in a strange way. Uh, are Jargon you saying wise. I got a lily <laughs> for a liver? <laughs> <laughs> you, is that where yeah, you... Yeah, I am. Yeah, you, yes. Is you <laughs> calling me out? <laughs> yar, yar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me a shot of whiskey. A <laughs> 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 shot of whiskey. Because he's in, he's in a saloon. It's a rum, pirate in rum, a saloon. Rum. I'm establishing a context and you just can't... Rum. <laughs> no, but... Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, you got big man. Rum. Whiskey. Whiskey. I drink whiskey. rum. Oh, yeah, you got him. He looks like an idiot. He's a big idiot, though. Yeah, near rum. Rum? What Ooh. are you, New Yorker? Where do you want me to rum to? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I literally, literally don't understand I the words. I literally, literally can't saying. understand <sighs> the words. Wow, get oh, the no. words coming out of here. Man. That's one dead caramel corn. <laughs> I think you're going to have to take over. <laughs> this Irish pirate. <laughs> Yar. <laughs> I think you're going to have to take over. Arr, you're going to have to take over. Were oh. Irish pirates? Or did they miss the boat They're, on that? I feel like... <laughs> do you like what nicely I did done, there? Nicely done. I don't know if... I have so many questions about that. Mm. About? Uh, <laughs> missing, missing the boat? That's That has nothing to do with Irish people, right? No, but it has no to do with I don't think so. <laughs> it, but it had to do with pirates yeah. is what so was I was okay. trying to... You yeah, think okay. you're thinking of fresh off the boat, okay, which yeah. has to do with immigrants yeah. and a classic ABC sitcom <laughs> from what I'm led to understand because <laughs> I've never watched it. A friend of my friend works on that show as a writer. So think about that. So it's got to be good. Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. And Carmel's I ready mean, to go. it's it's nice that um, it's not a white family. That's 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 forward thinking. That's good. What? That it's not a white family. He's yeah, like the, the fred, fresh off the boat yeah. family. Yeah, yeah. It's about an they're, Asian they're family. Asian. So that's good. Isn't that a but it's it's sad. It is sad that we can't just have a show about an Asian family that isn't about them being an Asian family. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Th and I always that's felt a little like sad. it's nice that it's forward thinking, but then it's like it's also but kind you of maybe not. should have. It feels weird to call them fresh off the boat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like that's, maybe that's they a little backwards. Have to give it this yeah. weird derogatory. Right. Term yeah. For yeah. It's like they could they could just be the Andersons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I mean, you could use fresh off the boat in the promo. We're an expert on racial relations, all being w three white men in their 30s. Aren't we? So it's good Aren't that we're we? really expounding on, yeah. <laughs> on these subjects. 
We're really going to teach of ourselves and others. A lot of knowledge. Yeah. We've got a lot to tell people. A lot of knowledge <laughs> bombs. Yes. People haven't heard enough from white people. Yeah. <laughs> That's so <laughs> true. White opinions are not. In particular, in white men. Yeah. I have a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading an article today about... Uh, Hollywood and how it's it's all very skewed white and I was like well of course it really? is and then I and then I read the numbers and I was like I was actually like crazy skewed right, I was yeah. actually genuinely unaware it's not a how slight skew right <laughs> it's yeah. really it's really skewed skewing. white <laughs> a lot of factors yeah, <laughs> yeah. and we're all experts so definitely uh, we should keep this up <laughs> <laughs> let's write a book <laughs> no but I would just say one last thing on this uh-huh, uh-huh. That, uh, um. What's his name? Uh, Bunk from The Wire. I forget the actor's name. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like... Yeah. He's I in a know. lot of stuff. I know him. Yeah, yeah. But he's a real, like, outspoken critic of the white hegemony and, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know, in movies in Hollywood That's right true. now. That's he's got true. a great interview with Brian Lehrer. You should listen to it. <laughs> don't whisper over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. It was about the game. It wasn't about you. <laughs> yeah. He's full of shit. <laughs> no, that way is the way forward, I think. But I think there's like a key or something in here. I'm, I think I can do this. Remember. I've done this I think before. I can do it. Oh, look at that. He killed the guy that took our souls. Mm-hmm. That's nice of him. So this was the interview was on what? Uh, Brian Lair, the, um He's a WNYC. Oh, yeah, my God. News person. Uh, All right. He's really um, great, though. This is a nightmare. Yeah, uh-huh. that's not. I didn't expect those. You just open up a black hole in your face? Yeah. Mm-hmm. With his face. With his face. A face to face attack. You are still alive, and I'd love to heal. I, I'd love to get out of here, unfortunately. Uh, I've, I feel like he was never this hard before. We had better I characters so before, I think. Oh. There no, I thought I had him. Nope. Yeah, I feel like we've really. <laughs> this character is. Well. Wow. What, guys? Uh, what do you have to say about Caramel? I don't know how to wield her properly. Yeah, it's mm. my I'm fault. I'm not good. I'm not good with her. <laughs> <laughs> the puppet master is having trouble pulling the strings. 